Welcome back, Devils fans. And the New Jersey Devils have defeated the Winnipeg Jets by a score of 4-1 to tonight from the Prudential Center. And another great outing for Jake Allen and another great outing, uh, great outing for this team. Cheers to all the fans out there. Cheers to the boys. And, wow, what, what a game against a very good team in Winnipeg tonight. Let me just gather my thoughts for a moment. We saw a little bit of everything. We saw some quality goaltending. We saw the power play continue to do its thing. We saw a jacket on the board multiple times. We saw everything you'd want to see in this game, and it just, it's just another reminder of the season that could have been. You know, the tale of two teams, the consistently inconsistent New Jersey Devils on the season, but I just hope we win out and we get to see some excitement. It's all I could hope for. The season is dwindling, but another another great game. And we now won back-to-back -back games for the first time in what seems like forever. And uh, we'll just take it from here. I mean, wow. But Winnipeg is a good team, and I didn't expect us to, you know, perform like we did tonight. And uh, let's just go to the scoring right away. After a relatively quiet first period, the second period... At nine minutes, Jack gets on the board on the power play. Luke just tosses it on net. Jack cleans up the rebound with a very nice screen by Timo Meyer right in the goalie's kitchen there. Jack puts one right by him on the power play, giving us the one nothing lead at the nine-minute mark. And then at 16.47, Ehlers just catches us on a end of a shift and just it was a terrible goal for the Devils, honestly. Like, the whole team, well, I'm not even going to dwell on it too long because in the end it didn't matter, but I don't know what the hell everyone was doing. I'm sure everyone on the ice is going to get roasted in, in a video session tomorrow or, or the following day. That was pathetic. I don't know. He he came wheeling through everybody and just, you know, came right on in and scored, but whatever. Second period ends 1-1, and we head to the third. And then this is where the boys... The boys really turned it up in the third. On the power play again at 5.59. He's pretty and he lives in Jersey City, number 13, Nico Hishauza. Nico Hishauza on the power play. His 23rd of the season from Timo and Luke Hughes. Just getting to those, getting getting in tight and getting in getting in that, uh, that crease area and jamming away. And Nico gets his 23rd of the season. I mean, wow, Nico. Nico's been somewhat quietly getting it done all year. I mean, you know, he's he's the captain. He's one of the heart and soul players of the team. Sometimes I get frustrated watching his post-game interviews because after losses it looks like he's going to cry. But Nico from Timo and Luke Hughes at 559 on the power play, giving the Devils the 2-1 the to one lead and then – at 11.52, Jack Hughes, utilizing the traffic, takes the pass from Luke and Timo. Timo on the primary assist. Timo kind of throws it to Jack and just crosses, goes to the net and kind of crosses in the goalie's vision there, setting up a nice screen opportunity. Jack chucks it in and gets his second of the game, 23rd of the season, giving the Devils a 3-1 to lead at 11.52 on the power play. Our third power play goal on the evening, which is beautiful to see considering some of the stretches we've seen on the year of the Devils power play just being trash. But Jack, his 23rd, giving him the 3-1 to one lead at 11.52. And then with the goaltender pulled at 19.11. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. <laughs> Timo, guys. Timo time came out again. On the empty net, his 22nd of the season, I believe he leads the league. I think that's 11 goals in his last 11 games. He might lead the league in goals in March. I mean, this guy has just been, I mean, you know, no one no one has, or, or should I say, no one misses Lindy Ruff less than Timo Meyer. He has been a player reborn on a complete tear. And, um, you know, a three-point night. For Timo Meyer, a goal and two assists. He was and he he played a huge hand on the first goal as well that he did not get a point on with using the big body for the screen 
I love Timo's game. He drew a um, he drew a great penalty. I think it was. Let me look at my notes here. Oh yeah, in the second there was a loose puck behind the Winnipeg um, net, and he kind of was in a race with Sandberg, and then he kind of bodied him. He got in a good position, won the puck battle, and then Sandberg pulled him down. But the guy's an absolute bull, an absolute horse on the puck. Love Timo, love to see the resurgence, and it's a shame that you know he wasn't utilized properly all season long, but as we know, now he is. He's getting some power play time, and uh, he's a new player, and I expect I expect a – I got to do it one more time. I got to do it one more time. I had to get off one more. <sighs> yeah, he looks like a new player, and I hopefully he, he looks like that all season next year. There's no reason why he shouldn't, and um, big things for Timo – Hopefully to come in the 24-25 season. And uh, let's look at the game stats here real quick. Shots on goal, 19 shots for the Jets, 41 for the Devils. We own them in the faceoff circle, 37.7% for the Jets, 62.3 for the Devils. Jets went 0 for 4 on the power play. The Devils went 3 for 4 on the power play for a 75% connect rate. Beautiful. You'd love to see it. Jets with nine hits, Devils with ten hits, Jets with a eleven block shots, and the New Jersey Devils with nineteen block shots. All right, boys, let's start getting those block shot numbers up. Love to see that stat as well. Jets with four giveaways, Devils with five giveaways, Jets with four takeaways, and the Devils with nine takeaways. And looking at the numbers, uh, looking at these game stats here, it was a. Mostly a New Jersey Devils domination tonight at the Rock. Our old friend Tyler Toffoli had a couple of quality scoring chances that Jake Allen was able to successfully save. And um, what a game. What an absolute, what an absolute beautiful performance by this Devils club. And again, it's likely too late, but I'm, you know, hopefully we could just win out and make things interesting. Uh, let's do the three stars of the game real quick. The third star with a goal and two assists. The cap, the captain, number thirteen, Nico Heischer. The second star with three assists, Luke Hughes, and the first star with two goals, Jack Hughes. I honestly thought, um, you know, Timo to me, is, and it's not just being a, a Timo, you know, fan club member. Timo had a huge impact on the game. He had uh, three points on four goals, and the one that he didn't have a point on was the very first one. He was very crucial in the screen. I don't know who I bump out of that situation there, but 100% uh, Timo with the three-point night and the huge screen on the other goal. He's 100% one of my stars of the game. I'm not sure who I would knock out, but it doesn't really matter. But I'm, I'm, he's definitely one of my stars of the game. Um and, yeah, it, it seems to be a, a career rejuvenation of sorts in the in the four games that Jake Allen has played as a New Jersey Devil. I mean, now let's look at his in, – in the four games, he is three in one, three wins, one loss, with a goals against of 1.76 and .946. Folks, he is now, after tonight's performance – his goals against average, meaning how many goals you let up per game, for those of you that are not really, you know, longtime fans that might understand. Goals against average, you see it listed as GAA. Goals against average is, on average, how many goals you give up per 60 minutes of play. And the ta uh, the trio, rather, of Dawes, Schmid, and VTech, at one point, the, the collective uh, goals against of the Devils as a team with those three guys was probably around 3.7 or 3.8, you know, 3.6 something, maybe, maybe 3.65 at best. You're talking about now, again, it's a small sample size, so it's not get crazy, but through four games, Jake Allen is 3-1 and one with a goals against of 1.76. That is less than half, meaning he's giving up half, roughly, half of the goals that the other guys as a unit were giving up per on a per-game basis. That is fucking incredible, and if I had a crystal ball and if we knew he could continue on this type of level of play for next season, I would have 
no problems whatsoever with him being our starting goaltender. But the reality is, if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't think he will be able to sustain this level of play, which is why I want us to go big game hunting and get the Markstrom, the Olmark, the Soros, etc. I would love Soros. I, I would accept Markstrom. Um, you know, right now, Jake Allen, this has been the best four-game stretch of a New Jersey Devils goaltender probably since, you know, there was probably a couple stretches that were similar to these type of numbers in the Corey Schneider era, those couple seasons where he was really good here. But outside of that, I mean, we haven't seen, we haven't seen a four-game sample size from a Devils goalie with these kind of numbers in quite some time. And so, honestly, you know, to have Jake Allen as hopefully a backup for next season, that's what they said the plan was. I would love to see that this would be – or Erdy is, honestly, a great move by Fitz, even though I think it should be off with his head. Jake Allen has proven to be, thus far, an absolute steal, and it's a shame, it's a damn shame that he wasn't gotten much sooner because he could have saved our season. That's just the reality. But victory drinks tonight. The boys do their thing. The brothers Hughes shine. The captain looks good. Jake Allen looks good. Timo Meyer is is back on the trajectory of the monster that we all knew he could be, or at least that some of us knew he could be. And yeah, I mean, wow, it's it's exciting, and it's a shame that you know, it, it's it's uh, games like this are tough, you know, because I'm always excited. I'm screaming, watching the game, screaming for the goals, and I love to see it. And you know, it's a great win, but when you sit back and think about the reality and what could have been with just a little more proactive measures and it's, and it's unfortunate. So now we've won two in a row. We have Ottawa, which is a very winnable game at home on Saturday. And then Sunday, the Isles, the 24th against the Islanders Tuesday against the Maple Leafs on the road. And then Friday at Buffalo. I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even going to allow myself to go there, guys. I'm not going to allow myself to go there. I mentally started accepting the reality of our season, you know, last week at some point. The Wings beat the Islanders tonight. Let's see. The Flyers lost in overtime. Uh, is there anything else going on that matters? That, that's going to end late. Yeah, those are going to all end, end late. So as of right now, yeah. The Devils remain six points out of the second wild card spot. It's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate, but, you know, maybe go 12-0 and and see what happens. Let me know what you, what you thought about the game in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the emergence of our boy Timo Meyer, the brothers Hughes, El Capitan Nico, Jake Allen, the, the late story of the season – which was unfortunately too late, but the, still the story of the season. And uh, throw it out there in the comments. Let me see if there's anything else I'm forgetting. Yeah, I really liked watching Timo launch that dude, Sandberg. That was nice. He kind of just bodied him real nice, and then we got the power play. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, the ref screwed us, too. I thought that. I got to watch it again. I saw it in real time, but I did think how there was no call on that Brat breakaway. It definitely should have been a penalty, if not a penalty shot. And then they gave us kind of a makeup call like a couple seconds later or a minute later <laughs> because they knew the fans were going nuts. But officiating also has been pretty inconsistent throughout the league. And, you know, that's just sports, unfortunately. But um, the Devils do it big tonight, winning at the Rock, beating a great Winnipeg Jets club by a score of 4-1. to one. And, yeah, I don't know, maybe Jake this Jake Allen. But watch what I said, guys. Jake Allen is going to be our starter next season. So I hope he can sustain this level of play. If he truly is used as our backup, I will be ecstatic. That would be a phenomenal move, but I do think we're going to kind of sit idly and, and yeah, Jake Allen's going to be the starter. I mean, you know, these numbers are wild. But let me know in the comments what you thought about the game, what you thought about Jake, anything else, what you think about the home stretch of games here. And that's it. Anything Devils Hockey, throw it out there. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends. Let's go Devils. <laughs>